Hello, folks, and welcome back to Shattered Pixel Dungeon. All right, let's enter. Let's uh, just dive in the warrior here. I have looked at a tip guide, and apparently I'm doing things all wrong. So one of the things the tip guide says is never upgrade your armor. Inscribe it, sure, but never actually upgrade it. And then get a cool weapon as soon as you possibly can. And upgrade the hell out of that. Um, so that's apparently a typical thing we can do. We'll see how that well this goes. Also, surprise enemies almost all the time. Did I just step on a trap for no good reason? I think I did. Surprise enemies all the time because that's the best way. Like, you never want to go toe-to-toe, -to -toe, apparently. Which i am been very bad about. I've been going toe-to-toe -to -toe almost all the time. There we go. That was good. Um, let's see. Do we have a chest down this way? I want to say we did, but I don't remember. Oh, here we go. Okay, fishing spear is not horrible. Come on, give me some dew drops. Oh, the dodge was horrible, but there we go. Okay, one dew drop. Come on, give me something better than that. Also, apparently the seeds are actually useful on their own. Like, you can throw them at stuff and stuff will happen. Which I was not aware of. So we'll see if we can make that useful later for us. Okay, herbal healing I did not need, but I appreciate the thought. One lousy dew drop for the whole thing. All right. There we go. One dew drop there, and... Okay, you see me, so you're coming for me, so I'll surprise you from the door. Yeah, it does seem to work out pretty good. Okay, we do not know what that scroll is, but that's probably... Oh, I don't have a key there. Uh, this might actually open the same room, but it's not locked. That can't be right. Yeah, okay. Didn't seem like it would be right. There's the key. Uh, best thing to do here is probably just throw this at Snake. There we go. I didn't check if that was a mimic. That was dangerous. That was more dangerous than I needed to be there. Okay, that's our way out. Hello there, Snake. Go ahead and throw this at you. Dodged it. Dirty. Dirty pool. For some reason, you just don't pick up things sometimes when you step over them. I don't know what the criteria is. There must be something, but I don't know what it is. It's like I'm I'm missing a step, but I don't know what the step is. Okay, what's in here? Okay, bad guy, but not horrible. We can deal with it. Okay, pull him over here. Okay, so much for the surprise attack. Ooh, okay, that's... <laughs> oh, dude, what the hell? We were doing so well. I tried the surprise attack move. It didn't work. Um, okay, so this is run number 17, for those of you keeping track. We're gonna keep going with the warrior. Man, just got totally slaughtered there. I'm shaking my head in disbelief. These snakes are also master dodgers. Okay, you're coming over to me. Why don't you come over this way? I totally did not take advantage of the surprise there, but so it goes. Okay, throw a stone at you. Great. Now maybe, maybe just throw stones at everybody. Barely any damage at all. Throw that again. I mean, as long as I remember to pick them up again, it seems like the more range damage we do, uh, the less we have to deal with in melee. So maybe we just keep on doing range. Now, the stones do have a limited time use. But we can't use them forever. Uh, use the distance. Stack weapons is two out of five uses before, before one breaks. Okay, so yeah, there there is a danger. Pull you back to the door. Don't know how useful that was, but... Okay, rations are good. We didn't even have a time to get hungry last time. Hopefully we'll just do better. Okay, that's just a big old loop. There's a way up here, though. Two ways up here. Oh, hello there, little 
guy. I broke line of sight, so I think that counts. If I break line of sight again, I don't know if that could actually be possible from here. If I was further away, we'd be able to break line of sight easy. I'm gonna pick everything up. That could be anything. Uh, you, I can't see a break line of sight on. Maybe here? If I do that, then you'll be surprised. I don't think that was actually a... Okay, well, we leveled up. Oh, you know what? I didn't do a skill. We'll do that. Yeah, Iron Will. Give me some more shield all the time, please. Not looking at your lips. I think it's fine. And no race, thank goodness. So there might be a wraith at the gravesite. I don't think the gravesite's going to be worth it. Like, we didn't die with anything really spectacular on us, and that's all that can really be is our, net, our previous run. At least as far as I know. So I think we just let it be. We have plenty of keys. What do we got in here? Okay, money. You're also not a mimic, so... Alright. I mean, if we find an early merchant, great. I don't know if that's actually a thing, though. Okay, Magenta Potion, no idea. Scroll of Rage, okay, so we know what that is. And Charcoal. I'm gonna wait till we're starving before we actually eat something. It does mean we have to eat slightly more often, but... Um, actually, I don't know if that's actually true. I didn't look up the eating mechanics. Where's our way out? There it is, okay. Maybe not through the traps, though. That might be a bad idea. Maybe don't walk through the traps. Just a nice little friendly pro tip from your friends here at PC Universe. Or PCUniverse.com if you want to go and visit that. That's mostly just my YouTube site. A little snake. I should be able to just throw this at you and you die, right? Or you dodge it. That's also a thing. Oh, my God. Okay, surprise them through the other door. There we go. That's annoying. Definitely need a better weapon, for sure. Now, if we get the ghost anytime soon, we'll definitely need something. There we go. Now I'm starving. Eat some food. Okay, so theoretically we can do something with the seeds. Um, they have unique effects, just like the potions do. We just need to figure out what they are. Aggression and disarming. The disarming traps are really good. Yeah, standing here trading blows is not what I want to be doing. Okay, so this is where the knoll came from, because all the grass is stomped down. There's the ghost. Um, I need to fight that knoll, though. Here we go. Can't really pull you back, can I? I can do the scroll of rage. It's like a waste on this guy, though. Let's pull him back. Go through a door, at least we can surprise him a little bit. That was horrible. Well, okay, that was a little bit better. Oh, I shouldn't have gone up the snake. Okay, it worked anyway. We lucked out. Do not step on the traps. Oh, that's a lot of traps. Actually, search around me. Okay, it's just the two traps on the side. I still want those things, though. And we have the Stone of Disarming. Yeah, I hate to use it this early, but yeah, let's just do it. There. Not terribly happy with it, but it worked. I mean, I guess it wouldn't have been too much damage, but I think that was a freeze trap. Okay, I'm gonna throw... I guess fire when he's on ice doesn't make any sense. Maybe this is like ice? Try throwing this. Oh, we can plant them, too. It's doing something. It grew in the water, it looks like. I don't know what that did. Uh, let's try throwing a stone now. Oh, interesting. I broke the plant, and now he's frozen. Huh. That's kind of cool. We didn't get the plant bonus from it, but... That was still kind of cool. Okay, fetid rat. I mean, I kind of wish I had kept the chill for the rat, but okay, I can remember that. 
You are not the fitted rat. Uh, let's actually go back over this way. Yeah, that's safer. There's a the fitted rat. And we have so many potions, we have no idea what they are. Um, seed wise. Maybe fire would be a good idea. Let me go ahead and throw it for this guy. I uh, wonder if it creates like an area of effect there that is then affected by when I throw something. That might be it. Okay, so it only burned that area. It's actually not that great. Let me get out of the fetid stink here. Actually, into the heel is not a bad idea. Although I got paralyzed there. And he gave me Caustic Ooze. Which I can't get rid of right now. Okay, we'll leveled up. Nice. Take that. The ghost is ready. I will take this weapon. Because I will definitely need that later. I mean, I can't use it now, but definitely want that later. Oh, I'm starving to death, aren't I? Um, no? Thought I would be, but I'm not. What's in here? Shadow melted. Oh, I'm invisible. Okay, so I should have gone in further, I guess. Uh, go ahead and eat again. I want to keep that bland fruit, so I want to want to go to an alchemy center for sure. Stone of intuition. Um, definitely inscribe my armor. It is now armor potential. Builds energy when struck, granting charge the wearer's wand when it activates. Wearer's broken seals attached to this armor, providing up to two shielding. Okay, the shielding just by itself is pretty good. Okay, so the seeds have a different purpose. So as long as you know what that purpose is, it's actually pretty good. That is totally a mimic. Don't really see any good options right now, so I think I'm just going to let him come to, to me here. Whether well, or not we attack the mimic is another thing entirely. Come on, there you go. Uh, we have a key. Let's go open this up. Oh, uh, we have to choose. I mean, who knows? I'm gonna go with this, this one right here. Okay, we have a wand of magic missile. That's actually great because we have a uh, ghost potential now, so that could work out. Uh, do we do magic missile on the mimic? I'm kind of tempted. The thing is, the mimic could have something good. We don't know. If I have two potions, I'm gonna guess that's healing. I'm gonna use the uh, Stone of Intuition here. I'm gonna say this here is... Healing is not an option. It's probably not strength. Haste seems unlikely, Levitation seems unlikely. Frost maybe, or poison? What is this? Experience, that seems unlikely. The two of them? Liquid Flame is probably pretty likely. Liquid Flame or Frost? I'm going to say Liquid Flame. Yum, yum, yum. I was right. Okay. One of these is probably a Strength Potion. The question is which one? Um, For some reason, I want to say the brown one. I don't have a good reason for that that I can elucidate on. But I'm going to say it's the brown one. Yum, yum, yum. Nope, I was incorrect. Okay. Well, so much for the Stone of Intuition, then. Uh, well, with the Potion Liquid Flame, I could burn the Mimic. It won't take that much damage from it, but that will allow me to get over to the door and surprise him. Yeah. We use Magic Missile. Let's keep the Potion for right now. It's good to use Magic Missile here. Zap. Okay. Dive in here. He'll still come back to me. Oh, there's a snake here, too. Wouldn't you know it? There we go. Get the money. And then zap the snake. Great. Hello, little rot. Yeah, see, for some reason, I just don't pick up some of these things, and I don't understand why. There we go. Okay, we have no idea what these scrolls do. We should probably try to find out at some point. So we just start reading scrolls at random? might not be a horrible idea. One of these is probably a scroll of upgrade, which we should probably use in our brand new sword that we can't use yet. 
One of these is probably a potion of strength. It's not the brown one. Uh, what, what, what? It could be any of them. It could literally be any of them. Okay, well, I'm gonna just go and just start reading. Teleportation, good to know. Okay, you feel sleepy. That's fine. Actually, you're feeling sleepy. Let's just rest for a little bit. There, great. Um, this is an upgradable, so let's do that. Yeah, so one thing they told me, which I totally was not even paying attention to. Every time you upgrade a weapon, it reduces the strength requirement by one. So we need to be upgrading this all the time, and then we'll be able to use it sooner. Uh, go ahead and read this to you. What the hell? Cleanse an item. We don't actually have anything to cleanse. Uh, so I can't. Um, I can't even click away from it. So I think we just go ahead and just cancel the scroll usage anyway. At least it's identified. So when we find it later, it'll be great. Um, but yeah, that's unfortunate. Okay, well, anyway, where's our exit? Our exit is... Here we go, down here. But at least we know. Now we know. Now there was some debate. Oh, okay, that hurts. In the uh, in the forums of whether or not you should identify things early or not. Um, some arguments against it I didn't quite understand. Like I would I would rather know, but some people are like, no, no, you want the potential. You don't necessarily want to know it immediately. Um, let's see if this, how many charges this thing has. My guess is three. Nope. No charge. Okay. So, throw this at you instead. You're nearly dead. I can take you out from here. There we go. The fly is awake. And you're gonna come towards me, so let's open this door. On the upside, every time we get hit, we have a chance to charge our wand, so yay. All right, let's go ahead and just zap this guy right here. There we go. And zap you. Yeah, standing there and taking it, it's kind of the only option I really have. Was that... We don't know. It could be anything. And we already know what the upgrade scroll is. Let's hold off. Oh, that could be identify, though. Do we automatically know what identify is? I don't think so, but let me check. Oh, that's my dungeon seat. I totally forgot to look at that earlier. Uh, we do know what scroll identify is. Okay. And we know what potions of healing are. Okay. So it's not an, up it's not an identify scroll. It could be anything. Let's go ahead and rest. Okay, not a very long rest, but I'll take it. Okay, then through the door. Right, they move fast. Okay, talent point. I will take... And yeah, that's not a great one. Identifies weapons and armors two times faster. That could be okay. Mm, this is not too bad. Let's do that one. More healing is probably a good idea. We definitely need an alchemy uh, table pretty soon. Be able to cook our own food would be pretty good. We do not have a key for this, so I can't do this. Let's zap you. Maybe one more time? Nope. Okay. You're aware of me, so I'm going to just hide over here. That wasn't a very good surprise attack. There's the key we wanted. I zap you get. I did get hit, so maybe. Nope, not yet. Okay. Let's see, that was a better surprise attack, but I definitely need to do more damage. Rations are good. Maybe I'll just go ahead and eat this right now. Apparently it took a significant amount of time. Zanol definitely came, what, three steps there? 
You still see me there, right? Yeah, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and zap you here. There we go, and then we'll try to surprise you here. Okay, that was better. And snakes, of course, we always want to... Oh, no, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Zero to three, it's right there. Okay, throw the stone instead. I didn't die? Come on. Okay, apparently just the dodgiest snake that ever dodged. There. Did not drop a seed that time either. Okay, scroll of upgrade, great. Let's go ahead and upgrade our sword again. So the more I'm thinking we already have a strength potion. I'm pretty sure we do. It's a matter of identifying which one it is. Oh, you guys are so annoying. If I had a wand of blasting, this would be easy. With a, just a scroll. With oh, sorry, not just a, with a with a magic missile wand, it's not good enough. Hey, Sinecodos, good to see you. Um, we don't want to step in here. If we step in here, yeah, we'll be hiding from the fly, but the piranha will be able to eat us. So we go towards the fly. Try to duck into the room on the south there. It's gonna hurt a little bit, but I think that's still thing we can hand do. Otherwise, I have to eat it here. This is probably a ration in that box, which is okay-ish. It's not my favorite idea, but okay. There, we made it in. It wasn't actually that bad. Come on, get out of here. Get out of here. You're done. You're done. Stop dodging. Okay, what do we got? There's a knoll up there. Am I done? Oh, no, I've got that room over there to look at. Okay. Uh, we do have a couple of charges on our magic missile. But at least do this. And what the hell? We might be able to take him out. There you go. Watch me need my magic missile here. Maybe. I oh, don't know. Okay. Alchemy room. Great. Okay. Cook this meat. Uh, the blend fruit also needs to be cooked with a seed. Sure, why not? I have no idea what that does. Sun fruit. Okay. Um, we could make it flame fruit instead, maybe? Fire fruit, sorry, one of those. Not that I have any idea what that does either. Uh, fire or sun. I mean, really, is the sun just a better fire? I mean, that's not at all true, if you know physics at all, but we'll pretend. And we'll just energy one. I don't know if we have much else we can do anyway. Not really. No, I think it's time to start playing with these potions. Well, with any luck, that's, enough, that's a strength potion right there. Wouldn't that be something? Wouldn't that be something? I mean, we could try it. Let's, let's quaff it. It is. Oh, ho! Oh. Okay, that's great. So now we have 12 strength? 12 strength. Okay, it's a start. Although I noticed our weapon did not actually reduce its requirements. It still requires 15 strength. Alright, well, we'll get there. It's a tier 4 weapon. We definitely want to use that later on. So, of course, you know, we live that long. Our exit is not down that way. Which our exit at? Do we deal with the piranha? There's our exit. Do we deal with the piranha? I mean, liquid flame is not going to work, right? Because they're in the water. So obviously that's not going to work. But if we had like a frost potion, which we might, I don't know, could be anything. We just start quaffing these, but throwing them at the piranha might be... I mean, we won't necessarily be able to identify them that way, but it's a thought... I mean, if they're a frost potion, we will be able to identify it that way. Okay, we're going to try it. We could use the extra ration, for sure. All right, I'm going to throw this. Swirling colorful liquid. Yep, no idea. Okay, so just go ahead and throw it at this guy. Uncommon freshness in the air. So that was probably a potion of purity. Or it's minty fresh, like it's actually, it actually was frost. Um, it's hard to say. 
Mm, I think we're just going to leave. Let's just leave. It's safer. Dealing with the piranha is not my favorite thing to do in anyone other than the huntress, so we're going away. Oh, there, no. Right, let me go ahead and zap you. And go through the door. And then surprise you. Definitely need a better weapon. We're getting there. We'll get there. More upgrades potion or more strength potions, please. Upgrade scrolls will be good too. Hopefully before we actually hit the big old boss galoot on the next floor, but we'll see. Okay, I have a lot of dew. Let me go ahead and quaff this. There. And then I can go ahead and pick up these. Yeah, I made up for it for the most part. That was not a terrible idea. I could have rested, but I suppose that works too. Okay, zap the thief. Step through here, surprise him. You try to curse me there? Bistre potion. I. Didn't we already have a brown potion? I thought we did, but maybe that was the previous run. Okay, well. Oh, you know what? There's probably a secret room in here. Hold on. So rarely do we actually have, like, a dead-end room. Let's just look around, just make sure. Yeah, there we go. Okay, scroll. Two scrolls. Scroll of Identify. Great. Uh, hmm. Okay, scroll of Identify. Should we identify another scroll or a potion? I'm really curious what these other scrolls are, so I'm gonna look at the scrolls. Read and identify this. Mirror image. That could be good for the boss. That'll distract the boss at the very least. So we don't have a honeypot. Okay, that'll work. Oh, okay. Did not mean to do that. Oh, zero damage any of them anyway. It's a start. Oh, of course. Just don't harm my potions. You're gonna harm my potions, aren't you? Uh, maybe not. No, okay, we're fine. We're fine. Speaking of potions. Okay, another one of these. So I'm gonna just go ahead and drink this. Invisibility. Interesting. Okay. Oh, right. Right. Okay. We're fine. We're fine. It'll all work out. Level up's great. Thank you for the extra meat. Remove curse, which we thankfully don't need, but it is nice to have. Potion of healing. Thank you. That's right. The, the flies are more likely to drop potions of healing. Uh, that seems like a very dangerous room there. Okay, back up. Let him, let him follow us. Let me do some searching here. Okay, we're okay. Um, hmm. Let's rest a little bit. Don't suppose you're gonna just step on the traps here and burn yourself to death? Okay, well that seems to indicate there's a safe path. So that's something. Probably should be actually using something here. Um, rest again. Oh my god, these guys just don't let me rest. Okay, drink the frickin' potion of healing. I hate doing it this early, but... Okay, then zap this guy. And step through the door. Oh no, the door is destroyed. Crap. Okay, it's fine. He's, he's aggroed onto us. We just want to surprise him around a corner or something. Anything that breaks line of sight. He actually he went away. And the door's not destroyed. The door is not destroyed. Just wouldn't close for some reason. Okay, now the door's closed. Oh, I'm starving. Um, eat some food. There we go. Okay, so there is a path. Oh, come on! <laughs> How did they get through it and I didn't? It's gonna burn some of my... Yep, some of my scrolls burn up. There's no water around. I can't do anything about it. Oh, that's so mean. Okay. Then eat this before it burns up, or read this before it burns up. Okay, scroll of fear, great. And this is transmuting it item. Um, I will transmute the rage scroll. It is now a challenge scroll. Unleash a great roar that draws enemies to the user while simultaneously creating a small arena around them. As long as the reader stays in this arena, they will take 33% less damage from all sources, and they will not lose safety. Okay, that's kind of cool. It'll probably burn in the next four turns, though, I'm just saying. 
Yep, there goes a there goes a remote curse. Okay. Rest. Oh hello there. I am so going to die. Uh invisibility. I thought the surprise would be worth it. I don't know if it was. Oh, the door's burned up. Okay, we are in trouble. Let's try zapping. We are so in trouble. Yeah, toe-to-toe -to -toe is not where I want to be with these guys. Okay, now can I rest, please? For like five whole seconds. And go ahead and burn these guys. No, don't dr don't drink it. Don't drink it. Don't drink it. Sorry. Sorry. Throw it. There, at least he burns. And then we'll try to pull him back over here. At least he doesn't split when he burns. That's something. Wish my armor was slightly better, but what are you gonna do? Okay, now rest again. Oh my god, I can't rest! What's the point of a rest button if I can't actually rest? Let's get out of here. Oh, that's right, they're so fast. I don't have anything I can do, I don't think. Throw this at him. And then throw a stone at him, I guess. Here, throw a stone at him so he burns. Didn't matter. Didn't matter at all. <laughs> Grr! The resting mechanic just... I think... No, it's not the resting. The resting is not the problem. The problem is that enemies keep respawning on the floor. Which is meant to keep the challenge high, but when you rest, I don't know, they can like hear you snore, I guess? And so they all kind of just glom onto you. So resting isn't really a thing unless you've got a very secure location. Like maybe in the library, maybe that was a better place to rest. Maybe I need to choose my resting spots better. I'm used to being able to just rest anywhere on the floor because that's how Dungeons & Dreadmore does it. That's how um, Adom does it. But maybe we need to be more circumspect about where we rest. Okay. I mean, that was mainly, that was mainly the, the problem there. All right, well, for right now, thanks for watching. This has been Shadow Pixel Dungeon on PC Universe here at PC Universe 2, and I'll see you guys next time.